Ma, what are you doing? Full and sandbags, Dorothy. There's a hurricane a coming. A coming? That's right. People only use the uh when a really big storm is a coming or a brewing. So grab a sack and start a shoveling. Ma, the weather report said nothing about a hurricane. Ida Pearlberg, down at the senior center, woke up this morning with a leg cramp. Need I say more? Yes. Dorothy, when you get around my age, two things happen. One, you get more intuitive about the weather, and two, corn becomes your enemy. Ma, even if there is a hurricane a coming. Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I'm a mocking you. <laughs> Look, Ma, if there is a hurricane coming, it's not going to get here for a while. So come on, sit down and relax. Okay. I'm glad we have this quiet time before the storm hits. Because there's something I'd like to tell you. What, Ma? I always thought of us as the Gabors. <laughs> Well, I'm glad we had this little chat. No. Hear me out. I'm Jolie, yeah. the mother. Your sister Gloria, she's Jaja. And Ava, well, Ava was, of course, your brother Phil. I'm not a Gabor. You're telling me. Listen, big news. Jaja's coming to town. Gloria is coming here? I wish I knew why you two didn't get along. I just don't understand it. For some reason, you've always been jealous of my good daughter. <laughs> Ma, she makes me crazy. She's always putting down my way of life, my, my choice of career. She's never been there for me when I've needed her, never. And all she ever talks about is how much money she has. Dorothy, there's upsetting news. She's broke. She invested all her money in junk bonds, and now she's broke. She has no money? Not a dime. Yes! <laughs> Girls, guess what? You know that Save the McKinley Lighthouse campaign I've been talking about? No. Oh, sure you do. I've told you about it 200 times. No. Boy, it's like you people don't pay any attention to me whatsoever. <laughs> Sneak in. Listen, I just got the television station to give me eight hours of airtime for the telethon. Rose, that's wonderful. The only thing is, there are so many things to get organized. I'm going to have to get somebody to help me do this. Well, you could sign me up. I would love to help. You? Oh, you'd turn the telethon into a disgusting manhunt. <laughs> a disgusting manhunt. What a great idea. Oh, see, we'll all get dressed in little safari outfits and we'll have the men in cages. And then we'll let them out and they'll all run around in loincloths. <laughs> and every man who gets caught will donate $50. And then we'll get to take them home with us. <laughs> Well, fine. Save your own damn lighthouse. <laughs>